Hey guys, so right now I'm looking at Typora. Typora is a really good uh, markdown editor that I've been using for a while and I think that most people should actually consider using it for doing their uh, note taking. Uh, Typora uses uh, markdown in the back end, so it's really nice because you don't really have to use Typora. The format uh, isn't only uh, for Typora. You can take this and you can put it into any other Markdown editor and you can get the same results. But Typora is actually pretty good because it has a few features that other Markdown editors don't have. And uh, some of these includes uh, m uh, mathematics. You can have uh, mathematic notation in this. And the second one is syntax highlighting for code blocks. And I'll show you that later. Uh, some of the more basic features that people may not know about is uh, like, for example, if you have uh, a paragraph, like let's say you say, hello, everyone. What you can do is you can uh, actually bold this uh, this uh, uh, this word here by typing control D and you have it bolded or you can have something like you can underline it using control U. So you underlined this one. Uh, how is everyone doing? And uh, you can also do something like you can uh, do a straight through. So you can say uh, Alt Shift and five, and that that gives you a straight through. Where I don't know. This is like really simple. Uh, this is just like simple uh, text lettering, but it, it kind of shows you that. When you use Typora, it shows you what you're doing right away, unlike other markdown editors. Like, for example, if I click on hello, you can see that I'm shown the syntax of like how this is being uh, formatted. But at the same time, when I click away, it doesn't show you uh, that syntax anymore. But if you actually want to see the syntax full time, you can uh, you can go here. You can click on this uh, toggle source code mode and you'll be able to see exactly what's happening uh, right away. Like you can actually see like how all of this is being formatted. Uh, some of the other basic features that this has is uh, you can do headings like uh, heading one. Uh, you can do, whoops, heading two. Uh, Typora actually has a feature where you can increase and decrease headings uh, with uh, shortcut. So if you do control minus, it's going to reduce your heading or increase your heading. But if you uh, do um, control uh, equal sign, that's going to, uh, well, it just makes the heading bigger. That's what I mean. So again, you can do this. And the short, shortcut keys are control equal sign and control minus sign. Uh, you can you can make a table in in this um, editor. So if you go up here to paragraph, and you go down to uh, where is this table insert table, you can make a, a table. You can give it like two columns, two rows. You click OK. You have a table. You can write whatever you want here. Um, So something like that. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but like it's, it's a good feature. Uh, the thing that I really like about a uh, Typora is that you can have something called a code fence. So you make a code fence by uh, typing, I think, four backticks, and then you say JavaScript, and it gives you uh, a JavaScript code fence. And what you can do here is you can type uh, some code like uh, f uh, function f, and then that's gonna console log x, and uh, yeah. So this right here is really useful because uh, other Markdown editors don't really give you uh, syntax highlighting. You you kind of have to. Uh, install like plugins or something, but with Typora, you just get it right away. You get like, you get all this for free. You get it out of the box. Uh, another thing that maybe smart people would appreciate is you can do uh, math um, equations in Typora. I, I don't really use this because I don't really do a lot of math, but 
I guess if you need this, you can go down to paragraph, you can say math block or control shift M and you can say something like uh, frac. So that gives you a fraction and this fraction is equal to, I don't know, Yeah, so there you go. You have a nice little math block here. It looks pretty nice. Um, another thing you can use uh, in Typora is you can have what are called lists. You can have an unordered list and an ordered list. And this is actually pretty useful. And you make a list like this. You have a couple of items. And you can select these items a new type control and then either opening square bracket or closing square bracket. Oh, sorry, control shift and then opening or closing uh, square bracket. And there you go. So you get something like eggs, milk, m meat. And then if you want the other one, if you want the order list, you can do something like this. Uh, you can also have a task list where you go up here, you add a task list, and then you say something like buy eggs, buy milk, buy meat. And then when you do your uh, shopping, I guess you can just like take it off and be like, yeah, I did these things. Uh, you can also look at all this in the source code and see how this is actually done. So if you want to uh, take this out of I pour and put it into a different markdown editor, you can actually do this pretty simply. I think th I think this is only supported in LaTeX editors, so um, this may not work. Okay, finally. I, and also, uh, Typora has a couple of themes that come, uh, that come pre-installed with it. So right now I'm using the GitHub theme. You can change it to a new sprint and that changes uh, the theme of it, I guess. And you can set it to night. You can set it to uh, pixely and uh, this one. Yeah, so you can just uh, pick whatever you want. I think GitHub looks the most standard, looks pretty nice. Anyways, this is my review of Tapora.